hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert dynamic html and css to pdf document in react js so basically this is the application that we will be building here so simply you will just write a simple title of the post and here you can copy paste the image url from any website i am taking this url let's suppose uh, any image you can take from any website let me take this image copy image address so paste it here and now if you click submit now you will see that if i click on capture as pdf so as a attachment this image will be inserted and this is your title here this is the image so basically it has uh, in the background it has taken the screenshot and now it has successfully inserted the title and the image inside our react js application so in the background guys we are using this library which is react to pdf you can see it's a very popular library which is a pdf generation library it has got 10000 weekly downloads so it is pure react js we are not using any third party library so just you need to use this library the command is very simple npm i react to pdf so all the source code guys i have given in the video description this is my blog post so you will see that this is the blog post that you need to write here so just go to the video description link to download all the source code so now let's get started guys by building this application so first of all what you need to do is that we need to create a brand new react chase project so i will close this so I will make a new directory which is react js pdf sorry pdf so the command is npx create react app and followed by your project name so in this case I will just make react pdf so this will create this project guys so need to install the following packages so it is saying that yes so now basically it will create a brand new react chess app guys so it will install some of these dependencies so just wait it is installing these packages so this will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds and after that we can install this library which is react to pdf so the documentation is quite good all the example quotes are there in how to create the pdf documents so we will be looking at how to do this so just wait here 5 to 10 seconds So now you can see that guys it is installed that we can open this inside visual studio code text editor so this is our brand new react chase project so you will see that we can delete all this instead we will have a post component so we can delete the logo So right here we can make a components folder so right here inside this we can make post.js so when we now include the post one So we can import post from from post here like this. So we are successfully including this post component. 
so right here guys inside this post component this will be simply class level component so all the source code will be there inside video description so the basic component that you write class post extends reacts component and uh, export default post and here we need to import the react from react and right here guys we need to render out from this component something so we can use the return statement return So if you check this, uh, uh, this needs to be there inside the render function. So I forgot. This is render function inside this function here, and here we need to return. So inside this guys, we will have a simple. Let me paste this code here. Paste it. So based upon a condition guys, we will have this condition which is this condition. This dot state dot post submitted. So if the post is not submitted, we will be having this simple form here. It is just jumbotron. We will be adding a new post here we will have the field for the title so this is a simple input field so post title here we will write so we have binded successfully the on change and then for the image we have this so here we will provide the image URL like this and lastly we have this button so when we click this button we will execute this function which is submit post and uh, when the form is submitted then we will display the PDF component here like this let me fix this Let me render out so now it is looking good guys so just wait now so we are including this post component right here so if I launch this application by npm run start so you will see this will start the react.js application so it will start this port which is localhost 3001 so it is just starting the development server so just wait so it is saying that module not found can't resolve post so this error typically Uh, let me see guys so oh this needs to be I this is there inside wrong the import statement is wrong guys this is the statement it made. because it is there inside the components folder so that is why it was 
so it is saying pdf is not defined so we also need the pdf component guys so let me just delete this for now this line we do need to create the second component pdf js so inside this component we will just be having let me just paste this code so now we need to include this component right here at the top import pdf from pdf so hopefully this can't resolve react to pdf so now guys we need to install this dependency which is react to pdf so this will hardly take 5 seconds to install this dependency so you need to use the force keyword dash dash force so this is useful whenever you have a different react js version installed so just use it and now you can run your application So it is just starting the development server guys so just wait. So it is compiled successfully. Uh, it is saying cannot read properties of null reading post submitted. So this is uh, coming because we haven't written the react JS code guys so we have binded all these methods you will see that this on change this uh, submit post so we need to write these methods also so if you go to the video description link I have written these methods so simply we need to declare state let me paste it in the post component so this is a state variable guys so we have three variables the title of the post the image URL of the post and post submitted which the default value is false and on change whenever the input fields are changed this value will uh, automatically trigger passing the input value and passing the, the functions the state it will automatically set the state and lastly we will use the submit post method first of all we will check if all the fields are filled inside this if condition if all the fields are set then we will make this post submitted value from false to true and based upon these conditions we will render out the template so once again if you refresh it now you will see that we have your post title and then we have the image click submit capture as pdf so now you can see that this is your post title this is the image which is successfully inserted to the pdf document so in this way guys you can dynamically insert text as html and image to your reactjs application so I have shown you complete example so basically what, what you can do is that you can also um, this is a you can see that this is the input field where we are getting the type or image URL and this is the post title so we have binded a on change like this and to this component we are passing the title and the image 
and in the app component we are rendering out the post and in the pdf guys we are importing this library which is pdf from react to pdf we are after that we are getting the reference and then we are passing the props so this you can also make a styles Uh, if you want to let's suppose uh, app dot css so i can write a style here which is h1 the color i can change to red So now what it will do guys, so it will make this H1 heading color to red, you will see that. So let, let me just insert it. Now you will see that the CSS properties are also working. You can also change the color of the text as well. So you can have as many properties as you want. You can also change the background color. to let's suppose green you can also change the font size to 45 pixel so what will happen guys so so now you can see that if I click capture so now you will see that it will also change the background color of the heading so in this way guys you can also use the CSS properties inside your PDF document with the help of this module. You can also change the background image as well. So let me take this image for example. So, so we have the app class which is we can have a background image so URL so we can provide this URL that's it so if you provide this so now you will see that guys it has changed the background image to this one now if I capture this so the background image is not getting it Uh, let me set this background image to to the heading let's suppose so click on capture so now you can see that guys this background image property is also working so in order to capture all space you can increase the height of this heading to 500 pixel so now this will take all space of the page so So now you can see that now it is taking more space you can play with these properties guys I have shown you this will work for dynamic CSS images and also for HTML in order to create a brand new PDF document. So all the source code guys will be there inside video description. Please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.